In this video, we will look at how we can reduce the index on a radical. First, let's look how this can work with rational exponents. We know with rational exponents, the index can become the denominator on the expression. We can write the x to the 6th as x to the 6 eighths, and y squared as y to the 2 eighths. You may notice that each of these fractions can reduce. 6 eighths reduces to 3 fourths, and 2 eighths reduces to 1 fourth. Notice each of those denominators are the same. The denominator can be thought of as the index on a radical expression. We now have x cubed and y to the first power. We have now reduced the index, which started out as an 8, down to a 4. The way we reduce the index is we divide both the numerator and denominator by the same thing. The denominator is the index, and the numerator are our exponents. This means to reduce the index, we simply have to divide the exponents and the index by the largest possible thing they can all divide by. This is the greatest common factor. Keeping this in mind, that we reduce a fraction by dividing the numerator and denominator by the same thing, we can divide the exponent and the index by the same thing as well. Let's look at that same problem and see if we can skip the rational exponents and see what we can divide all the numbers by. 8, 6, and 2 are all divisible by 2. If we divide them each by 2, we now have 8 divided by 2, or a fourth root, of x to the 6 divided by 2, 3, y to the 2 divided by 2, 1, and we reduce the index in one simple step. A hint, as we're working with any numbers, is we may want to factor them, so they also have exponents that we can work with using this method. Let's take a look at some examples where we can divide the index and the exponents by the same thing, or the greatest common factor, to reduce the index. In this problem, we have 15, 3, 9, and 6. We can divide them all by 3. 15 divided by 3 gives us a fifth root. 3 divided by 3 gives us x to the first y to the 9 divided by 3 is cubed, and z to the 6 divided by 3 is 2. We have now reduced the index from 5, or from 15, down to 5. Let's take a look at another example where we can divide all the exponents and the index by the same thing. In this problem, we can't reduce quite yet because the 32 does not have an exponent. However, we can factor that number using its prime factorization in order to get exponents. Calculating the prime factorization of 32, we end up with 2 to the 5th power. a to the 10th, b to the 5th, c to the 20th. The index and all the exponents, you can see, are divisible by 5. 25 divided by 5 gives us 5 for the new index, and on the 2, 5 divided by 5 is 2 to the 1st, or just 2. a to the 10 divided by 5 is squared. b to the 5 divided by 5 is just 1, b, and c to the 20 divided by 5 is 4. By writing our number and its prime factorization, and dividing all the exponents and the index by the greatest common factor, we're able to reduce the index from 25 down to 5. 